Seen script. Ever wondered how the ancient world was connected? The Mediterranean trade route holds a plethora of secrets. Welcome to the Mediterranean, a vast azure expanse, a cradle of civilizations, and a silent witness to the rise and fall of empires. This sea, rimmed by three continents, was the highway of the ancient world, a bustling thoroughfare where goods, ideas, and cultures intermingled. Let's take a journey back in time to the 15th century BCE. Picture a world without GPS, without compasses, without engines. Yet even then, the Mediterranean was a hive of activity, a pulsating artery of trade that stretched from the sun-baked sands of Egypt to the rocky shores of Greece, from the bustling markets of Phoenicia to the grandeur of Rome. This was the Mediterranean trade route, a lifeline that connected diverse civilizations, a route that was as mysterious as it was crucial. It was a conduit for economic prosperity, a catalyst for cultural exchanges, and a testament to human ingenuity. Envision Phoenician merchants, their ships laden with precious Tyrian purple, navigating under starry skies. Picture Greek traders, their vessels filled with olive oil and wine, haggling in bustling Egyptian markets. Imagine Roman galleys, their holds brimming with grain, forging through the azure waves. These were the threads that wove the tapestry of the Mediterranean trade route, a vibrant mosaic of cultures, commodities, and connections. But this wasn't just a route for goods. It was a highway for ideas, a conduit for cultures. The Mediterranean trade route was a melting pot where philosophies clashed and coalesced, where religions were born and spread, where art and science flourished. It was a route that fostered growth, spurred innovation, and shaped the course of history. The Mediterranean trade route wasn't just a physical path. It was a journey of the mind, a voyage of discovery that pushed the boundaries of the known world, that challenged the limits of human endeavor, that dared to dream. But how did this extensive network of trade come to be? Let's unveil this mystery. Imagine a time when the Mediterranean Sea was the epicenter of civilization, brimming with a variety of cultures and ideas. A time when the known world was connected not by highways and interstates, but by the winds and currents of this vast body of water. This was the era of the Mediterranean trade route, a complex network of sea lanes and harbors that stretched from the sun-baked shores of Egypt to the misty coasts of Northern Europe. It was a time when a ship's sail was the equivalent of a modern-day passport, granting access to distant lands and exotic goods. The inception of this trade route is as mysterious as the sea itself. Some historians suggest that it began as early as the 15th century BCE, when the first daring mariners ventured beyond the horizon. Over time, this embryonic network of trade routes expanded and evolved, becoming the lifeblood of the ancient world. Among the key players in this maritime drama were the Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians. Each civilization brought something unique to the table. The Greeks, renowned for their maritime skills and navigational ingenuity, dominated the Aegean Sea. They established numerous colonies, which served as vital links in the trade network. The Romans, on the other hand, were the masters of administration and law. They brought order to the chaos of the sea, implementing laws and regulations that ensured the smooth operation of trade. Their vast empire provided countless goods and commodities, fueling the Mediterranean trade route. And then there were the Egyptians, Blessed with a strategic location and abundant resources, they were the gatekeepers of the southern Mediterranean. Their mastery of the Nile allowed them to produce surplus crops, which were then traded for precious goods from afar. So, these civilizations were the masterminds behind this intricate trade network. But what were they trading? Well, that's a question for another scene. From exotic spices to precious metals, the goods that flowed through the Mediterranean trade route were as diverse as the civilizations that traded them. But that, dear listener, is a tale for another time. From precious metals to exotic spices, the Mediterranean trade route was a treasure trove of goods. Imagine for a moment the bustling ports filled with merchants bartering for the finest wares from distant lands. The air is thick with a cocktail of scents, from the sweet aroma of cinnamon to the earthy fragrance of frankincense. First, let's talk about the precious metals. Gold, silver, and copper were among the most sought-after commodities. 
these medals were not just a means of wealth, but also a symbol of power and status. Picture a pharaoh adorned in golden jewelry, or a Roman senator with a silver coin purse. These medals were often used in religious ceremonies, making them, quite literally, the goods of the gods. Now, let's set our sights on the spices. Exotic and aromatic, these spices were worth their weight in gold. They were used for a myriad of purposes, from flavoring food to embalming the dead. The spice trade was so lucrative that it drove explorers to venture into uncharted territories, forever changing the course of history. And then, there were the textiles. Luxurious silks from the east, colorful dyes from Phoenicia, fine linen from Egypt. These textiles were a testament to the craftsmanship of their makers, and they became a symbol of elegance and prestige. These goods were more than just commodities. They were catalysts of cultural exchange, facilitating the spread of ideas, technologies, and artistic styles. They played a pivotal role in shaping the economies of the ancient societies, and their influence can still be felt today. But let's not forget about the humble staples like grain, olive oil, and wine. These were the lifeblood of the Mediterranean societies, nourishing the people and fueling the economies. Intriguing, isn't it? But the roots mystery doesn't end here. There's more to it than meets the eye. The Mediterranean wasn't just a body of water, it was a labyrinth of secrets and stories. The depths of its blue expanse hide tales of lost ships, unexplained phenomena, and legends of ancient mariners that stir our curiosity even today. Let's delve into some of these mysteries. First, consider the myriad of vessels that vanished without a trace. Ship after ship set sail, carrying goods from one civilization to another, but not all reached their destinations. What became of these lost vessels? Some say they were claimed by treacherous storms, others whisper of sea monsters lurking in the depths. Some even suggest they fell prey to pirates, the highwaymen of the high seas. But the truth remains buried beneath the waves. Then, there are the unexplained phenomena. Sailors of old often spoke of strange lights flickering beneath the surface, of inexplicable currents that changed course at a moment's notice, and of eerie sounds echoing through the night. Were these simply the tricks of a tired mind or something more? Even today, scientists struggle to explain these odd occurrences, adding another layer of intrigue to our tale. And let's not forget the legends. Oh, the legends. Stories of sirens luring sailors to their doom with their enchanting songs, of mighty sea gods wielding their power, of enchanted islands that appear and disappear at will. These tales, passed down through generations, add a mythical dimension to the Mediterranean, making it more than just a trade route. Each mystery, every unexplained event, and all the legends contribute to the enigmatic allure of the Mediterranean. They weave a rich tapestry of intrigue and wonder, making the waters more than just a route for commerce, but a journey into the unknown. These mysteries make the Mediterranean trade route even more fascinating. But let's not forget its impact on history. As we continue our journey, we'll explore how this ancient trade route shaped the world as we know it today, leaving a legacy that endures even in the 21st century. The Mediterranean trade route has left an indelible mark on the world, shaping civilizations and influencing our lives today. This ancient network of seafaring traders not only gave birth to thriving economies, but also served as a conduit for cultural exchange that resonates even now. Consider the Mediterranean diet, the essence of which is rooted in the products traded along this route. Olive oil, wine, grains, and an array of spices that were once the prized goods of ancient traders have become a staple of our tables, contributing to a healthier lifestyle and a culinary tradition celebrated worldwide. The concept of a market economy, too, owes much to the Mediterranean trade route. The bustling ports of yesteryears were the precursors to the global marketplaces we know today. The exchange of goods, the dynamics of supply and demand, the negotiation skills honed by ancient traders, these are the very foundations of our modern economic systems. The cultural impact of the trade route is equally profound. The sharing of ideas, philosophies and art forms among the diverse civilizations along the Mediterranean fostered a rich cultural tapestry that continues to inspire and influence. From the architectural marvels that dot the Mediterranean coastline to the enduring tales of Greek mythology, the echoes of this vibrant past are all around us. 
Yet perhaps the most significant legacy of the Mediterranean trade route is the spirit of exploration and discovery. The daring voyages of ancient mariners charting unknown waters laid the groundwork for the age of exploration. This legacy of curiosity and courage fuels our pursuit of knowledge and innovation even today. The Mediterranean trade route, a fascinating tapestry of history, mystery and legacy. One can only wonder what other secrets it still holds.